Thanks, mate. Fan of the Hauraki Big Show podcast? Make sure you check out more from Jay, Mike and Keezy on their Instagram at Hauraki Big Show or tune in to them 4 to 7 every weekday on Radio Hauraki. Thanks, mate. Yeah, g'day everyone, and uh, we're uh, live at Field Days at the Good George Bar and Eatery, and uh, there's a real country vibe going on, as you can hear in the background, no doubt, uh, a bit of country music, a lot of backbones here, a lot of farmers and their outdoor gear, she's been pissing down all day, having a few quiet beersies in the barn, fellas, uh, Always good to get down to field days and have a bit of a wander around and see what's happening in the agricultural world. A lot of um, a lot of white men. If I could be so bold, I don't know if I'm allowed to say that in this day. I, and age, I think you can say that, Mogi. I think that's fair. Uh, what do you reckon we're running at? Probably a ninety-two to eight ratio. Would that be? Can I can I phrase it this way? It's a real sausage fest. Oh yeah, you'd love that, eh, Keezy? Hey, welcome back, Keezy from Bali, by the way. Uh, good well, you don't welcome fellas. yourself back, Keezy. Thanks, fellas. Good to be back. Um, you know, there's a lot of dudes here. A lot of RM Williams, a lot of chicken shirts, but that's what you expect from field days. And uh, to be honest, fellas, I feel right at home. <laughs> I'm just reading some Backbones T-shirt, and it says, I'm not a gynecologist, but I know a C when I see one. <laughs> <laughs> that dude... Gets oh. laid off I was yeah, just going to say, you if, if you come to field days and you manage to pull as a male, you're doing. You you're are. Doing you well. are a, a top contender. Actually, Mogi had a fantastic idea, Keezy, uh, for field days. A Mister and Mrs. Field Days. Well, they do have the. Um, they've, they've got the one for. Is it the farmer's wife competition? Yeah, the farmer's wife. I, uh, a former flatmate of mine. She uh, participated in that one year. You had to back a trailer. Right. Um, I can do that. Uh, skull of beer. Yeah, I can do that. Punch a guy's teeth down his throat. Oh. There's a couple of things there. Yeah, she went pretty good. Yeah. Is that a real thing, is it? Yeah. Straight yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm not sure where uh, they did it. Maybe it was at Field Days. It was here. Yeah, right. Uh, it was in front of that little undercover area, but I think they do it on the Saturday or the ah. Sunday. Wasn't there some sort of reality show where... Farmer Wants a Wife. The Farmer Wants a Wife, That's yeah. right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because they're all horny bastards, and... Um, they weren't getting sort of, you know, there was no loving going on. Oh, I hate that. Um, and so, you know, because it can be lonely. I remember when I was farming, uh, you know, it can get lonely up there, fellas. Where in were the, you? In the paddocks, by yourself in the four-wheeler there, just herding the cows and fixing the fence and laying silage. Oh, I see you were doing a dairy You're farm. You are laying silage, were you? Yeah, and, and all that Three jazz, perfect you know, silage and, tubes. And whilst I am a man of the land and I, I, I love the... Isolation of it can get to you. Can see, I don't think I'd go well with isolation. Like I do for about three days. Yeah, and then it goes to shit, and I start going nutty. So I couldn't be out there in the paddock. You got your cows though, Keezy. You're never alone as long as you got a heifer by your side. And don't forget, true. don't forget your dogs. Oh, you got your dog. You yeah. know, farmers love their dogs, man. Well, they don't actually. Oh, they see them really? as they, f- they see them as tools. Oh, they do. Yeah. Yeah, and, and very little uh, tolerance for it, you know. There's no, oh, you know, it's going to cost you three grand for an operation. There's oh, yeah, no, there's none of that shit. No, no, no. No, no, no it's out the back paddock. So um, I'm sure there's exceptions to the rule, but... Um, I mean, I, I mean, I was the exception to the rule. I loved my dogs. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, they were my lifeblood when I was on the farm there. Your lifeblood. Um, yeah, kept me company. Yeah. Kept me warm at night. Oh, you let them in the house. Yeah, That's not like, a, far- yeah, yeah, not no, like a farmer at all. I know, I was really... Playing against type there. The Hauraki Big Show. Weekdays from four on Radio Hauraki. The Hauraki Big Show podcast. Are you guys people that let dogs sleep on your bed? Nah. Well, I used to, we used to. Um, but now that uh, my dog, who Tinker, is of an age, uh, she snores even when she's awake. Wow. So I just can't, we can't do it, so we've got to put her out. Yeah. Not outside, but out of our Down. room. Down. Oh, out of the room. Yeah. yeah. That was yeah. one of our things, actually. No dog on the bed. No, no. Well, hang on. Doesn't your dog do shit, shits on your bed? Well, yeah, no, true. that was one occasion where she jumped on the bed and there was thunderstorms going on, and she didn't really shit. She just did a little squirt. But that's worse. Well, it was worse, but... <laughs> yeah, trying to defend um, her. 
<laughs> but I do notice that she's be- there's I get up before my wife, generally speaking, no make way. the coffees and stuff, and the dog sneaks into the room and jumps on the bed with her, and yeah. she allows that. Yes, and I'm yes. like, what's, what's going on there? Oh, wow. See, do- I was always brought up in a house with a dog, but our dog was massive. It was a hunter way. It, uh, it's just not allowed inside. But now, since as my parents have gotten older and uh, my brother and myself have left, they've softened up. The dog is always inside. Now. Yeah. It's quite yeah. interesting. Yeah. Dog has a room. It's either kids or the dog. Am I right? You know? Yeah. Has it, and I think the dog's taken over your bedroom as well, eh? Yeah, it's got its own bedroom. I saw it the other day. They had it in a car. They were teaching it to drive. Yeah, and when you go home, you have to sleep on the couch. That's right. I have to sleep in the kennel. <laughs> I'm actually uh, oh. just looking out at the punters here, fellas. And uh, as we say, a sea of humans. A, a lot of backbones, very stern faced, though. Very yeah, and, I'm, I'm, and, the one thing I'm concerned about, and, and this might be a stereotype here, they tend to be quite stoic, non-expressive, your farmer. Well, they are non-expressive um, unless you're looking for somebody to look at you with dis- disdain. Oh, disdain, sure. I mean, I was just looking at a dude before, and he was looking at me like I thought I was the bee's yeah, knees. Yeah, that's and he, right. And he hated me. It's because we got here, and just to uh, describe what we're doing here, we've got a, we're on a stage that's probably three feet high. So we're right up and everybody can see us. Um, but that was only because when we turned up, Jason insisted we have a, say, a stage. Oh, uh, yeah, they that had was to, weird. They yeah. had to build it. And so now we're up here thinking we're the bees. Now, there's a woman about to walk past us here, and she has got a horrible look on her face. She, she has had a look She looks like she's been time. sucking on lemons. What about when we first got here and we walked in and no one was really looking and then Jason got up on that seat? Oh, yeah. And then, like, whistled and then waved at everyone? Yeah. Well, it didn't help that when we got up on the stage, old Mogi immediately whipped his shirt off. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean... But that's what he does, though. You know, yeah, that's my I, thing. Yeah, I know, but... Like, his whole career's built around that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> your pecs and your abs and your gutters. Yeah. God, your gutters are looking good, Mogi. Oh, thanks, man. Hey, Mogi, how many steamers have you done at field days? Just one. Just the one today? Was yeah, and I was, I was telling you fellows before, but for the uh, benefit of the listeners out there, I, I found myself a, uh, a row of portaloos. I took this, the one second to last at the end. Never take the one in front of me. Went down there and I'd sort of done my business there and I turned to uh, get myself some toilet paper to give myself two strokes. And there was no toilet paper there. And I thought, oh, God, here we go. So I started texting the group chat there <laughs> to ask for somebody to bring me some toilet paper. And I took a photo of the empty toilet paper dispenser. And there was another roll of toilet paper beside the one that was empty. So I was all good. I wasn't looking forward to it because I knew if you guys came over, I'd open the door and be eight cameras on me shooting footage. Yeah, for, for sure, man. Month. Joel, Joel would have whipped the camera out. No question Joel's about it. Joel's a shocker, it. man. Like, he, he is, man. He's and we were just walking around the indoor area. Every sort of slightly sexual thing, he's like, "What's this photo?" He's, he's like, totally, no, he's an animal. Totally. You got to get yeah. a photo of you like going I'll, to town. I'll be honest that. with you. I've actually sanctioned a lot of Joel's videos. Really? I've actually gone, no, no, Joel, Too no, much. no. No, no, that's not happening. You're not pu- you're not putting that one out. And he's like, oh, come on, Joe. And it's always filth, mate. Oh, it is. It's always, it's filth. always filth. Leave the pants, man. Yeah, true. Hey, uh, look, we better wrap it up because um, we're getting very close to the start of the show. But thanks for uh, listening. It's all good. Good to have you back, Keezy. Thanks, fellas. Good to be back. Uh, make sure you listen to the Hodaki Big Show, 4 to 7 weekdays. You still been doing that? Yeah. Okay, cool. See you later.